Hey my friends, um, welcome to today's video. So, um, two laps of the Neon Flats in the Zwift Racing League Category B. So, um, what looked like a straightforward standard sprint race turned out to be something entirely different in my division. Um, the course itself is pan flat um, with four point segments per lap here, 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 and here. So the length of each segment varies, but generally it is about three to 500 meters long with a decent amount of rest in between. Hence, it really looks like a sprinter's course on paper. Bike choice obviously is gonna be arrow. So my setup for today's race is the Scott Eddick RC plus the Z808. Um, find that the difference between the frames is negligible. So I just pick whatever <laughs> I like and the 808 is the best that I could afford at my level right now. On to the start of today's race, so the first segment, the tower sprint came very quickly at us at the 2.3km mark. I've decided to take a risk and go all out for this first one, so some of y'all might know I've been conservative with sprints for a few months now. I was truly traumatized by <laughs> that DRS race at Richmond months ago when I first got into racing. Basically, that all-out sprint really f with my recovery and um, kind of ruined the race for me. So anyway, that was months ago and I felt I've gotten stronger, so off we go. And that's it. Um, this was my third strongest effort recorded on Swift Power. Obviously nowhere as good as the top guys, but I race with whatever I have right now. I've also gotten one fastest through segment point here. So, Arigato gozaimashita. I celebrate any points I can get in this division. We then get a 4 minutes break before we hit the early sprint segment. This is also the longest segment in today's course at um, 480 meters. I had to be conservative for this one because of how close the next segment is. It turned out to be a good move because the group has no intention of letting the sprinters have it. Um, less than a minute from that previous segment, some of the riders started attacking way before the segment starts. The Castle Park Sprint segment is the shorter segment in today's course. Um, the course starts at the 7.5 kilometers mark, but the attack happens 700 meters before the start. Um, quickly turning this into a one minute effort. So I was forced to play catch up, but I was lucky that um, I gave up the previous segment. The course then takes us back to the same segment for another round. Um, it's more tame this time round and I narrowly missed out on more points. Mm, yeah, life's tough. And that's the end of the first lap. So um, no drama until we head towards the end of the lap, which is really the highlight of today's race. I probably wouldn't have made this video if not for this. I first know about um, this through Z-Ray Central's Race Recon. Not sure if you guys heard about that channel, um, but it's really informative. So, um, some riders will attack in the arcade using the neon lights to their advantage. I've been through the arcade many times and I felt like I always needed to really concentrate under those neon lights. So I kept that knowledge in my head but never would I have thought that um, it would actually happen. So um, this attack coordinated by the Dirt Reynolds team turned this entire race from a sprint to a chase race. At the 13.7 kilometers mark, they started to break away from the group. I saw the attack and decided to put some power into it. As you can see, I was putting about 400 plus watts, but I was not getting any nearer. So I would have to search or sprint for rail to catch up. So as a middleweight rider in this division, um, that's a huge risk for me to take. Um, I have the numbers on my side as well, so um, I decided to stay put. 
I thought we were going to catch them, but the lead kept increasing. So at the start of the next segment, the 10-11 riders group has a 11 seconds lead on us. It basically guaranteed first across the line points for most of them. Yeah, fortune favors the brave, eh? We had to make a sprint for all the segments as well. I think we are all pretty upset about that breakaway. Um, a few riders decided to make a push at the alley sprint, but the breakaway group was still relentless, maintaining an 11 seconds lead on us. So this was infuriating because we could literally see them in front. Um, at this point, we all took turns to push at the front, and we finally caught them at the final 2 kilometers mark. But this was as though they let it happen. Um, the breakaway group already took all the points and left us with nothing at all. So I barely made it, but the race to the finish is still on. Anyway, um, that was some amazing racing and huge kudos to those riders in that breakaway group. We then fast forward to the final 400 meters mark through the arcade. In arcades. And <laughs> we are on to the finish and everyone's tired by now. The readings didn't turn red till the 250 meters mark, which is kind of rare in the Zwift Racing League. So I finished 18. Nothing to rave about, but um, there are some super strong riders in my chase group like um, Matt Koss, Jason Sterney and Sasaki took 1st, 3rd and 4th respectively. So I bet they were so pissed as well. <laughs> anyway, super fun race. Um, I don't know how Scotland would turn out. I'll share if there's anything interesting. So um, till next time, see y'all.